In the land of Israel, two Amalekite scouts were returning to Amalek to report on the war between their enemies, the Israelites and the Philistines. There had been many battles between the two nations, but the battle that was to come would be the defining part of the war. The Amalekite scouts had tracked the Philistine armies from Aphek to their camp at Shunem. This is where they saw their allies' treachery firsthand. When they saw the Philistine leader Achish, king of Gath, with the renegade David who was stationed out of Ziklag raiding Amalekite settlements in Negeb. However, the scouts were glad of this since a war party had been sent to Ziklag and David and all the men were with the Philistine army. The Amalekite scouts went around to the backside of Mount Geboa to look down on the Israelite camp at the base on the mountain to report on the strength of the Israelites' army. However, once they reached the top of Mount Geboa, they saw the battle in the valley below. The Philistines were overwhelming the Israelite force and they had surrounded the Israelites and were pushing them onto the mountain with no hope of escape. On the battlefield below, King Saul fought with his son Jonathan against the overwhelming Philistine force. Jonathan, we must retreat. The Philistines are too strong. No, father, we cannot let our enemies win. We must fight on. Come, father. We can take them if we make a stand on the slopes of Mount Jeboa. For Israel! As soon as Jonathan made it onto Mount Geboa, the Philistines ordered their archers to fire upon the retreating Israelites, and Jonathan was killed along with many men of Israel, and King Saul knew death was upon him. Back on Mount Geboa, as the Amalekite scouts look on. Look! The Philistines have attacked the Israelites! Their war chariots are driving the Israelites into Mount Geboa! They stand no chance! We must report this crushing defeat of our enemies! Wait, look, the one with the crown. That is Saul, king of the Israelites. The Israelites have ravished our land of Amalek and killed our great king Agog. Now this will bring vengeance by killing their king and taking their lands of Jezreel Valley and beyond the Jordan, now under the control of the Philistines. Better them than the wretched Israelites. At this point, a spirit overtook the young Amalekite scout. No, he needs help. I must go to him. As the chariots and charioteers of the Philistines were close upon King Saul, he saw the young Amalekite scout coming from the mountain peak. You there! Here I am! Who are you? I am an Amalekite. My armor bearer has left me. Stand beside me and kill me. For anguish has seized me, and yet my life still lingers. I cannot! You are King Saul! All my sons are dead, and I have failed my God. Bring my crown to David. He is the true king of Israel. David the renegade? Your enemy? Yes, he is who God favors. You are my enemy. Now strike me down. As you command, my lord. The young Amalekite did as Saul commanded, took Saul's crown and armlet, and headed back to the top of Mount Geboa. You killed their king! All Amalek will celebrate your name! I am not going to Amalek. I am going to Ziklag. To David? The rebel? Why would you go there? He is our enemy. He has raided our towns. He has killed our countrymen. I must give him Saul's crown. All Saul's sons are dead. David is the rightful ruler of Israel. What are you saying? You traitor! Why would you go to our enemy? It is our mission to report on this great defeat of Israel. All Amalek must know we are victorious over the Israelites. Sorry, brother. I must go to Ziklag him into the city once they heard that the Amalekite had been at the battle between the Israelites and the Philistines. He was then brought before David. David said, Where have you come from? The Israelite camp at Gilboa. What of the battle there? What of King Saul? The entire army fled from the battle. Many of the men are dead, and Saul and his son Jonathan are also dead. How did you know that Saul and his son Jonathan are dead? I happened upon King Saul leaning upon his spear. His armor bearer had abandoned him. The Philistine chariots were upon us. Your king asked me to spare him the horrors that the Philistines would bring upon him. He had me bring you his crown and armlet. Who are you? I am a foreigner, an Amalekite. Then why were you not afraid to have killed the Lord's anointed? Guards, kill this man. As David's men thrust their swords into the young Amalekite man, David said, you have condemned yourself, for you yourself confess that you killed the Lord's anointed one.